Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, a.k.a. Redbeard. Uh, I might sound a little more hoarse tonight. I've been doing a lot of talking lately. Maybe it's the weather change. Usually around springtime, I lose my voice, so I'm going to sound like shit. <clears throat> so, weather's doing all kinds of crazy stuff here in East Texas. One day it's warm, next day it's cold. It screws you up. So, I'm going to try to stay healthy. Might not sound very good throughout the process. And hopefully I don't get sick. So, I know what you're asking yourself. Why do you have two bottles of Henry McKenna 10-year single barrel bottle and bond sitting in front of you? Well, the answer is I've had this one for a while. This is the one that I used for the Dirty 30 bourbon blind tasting. And as you can see, there's not much left in it. Uh, I probably need to go ahead and finish this one off. So, I wanted to do a test. Oh, yeah. This one, this is the one that I had from Saturday night. You can see we drank about a third of it, maybe. Um, they're both from different dates, different barrel numbers. So, I wanted to see what the difference is, if I could somehow pick apart, if there's differences in this one, if there's differences, whatever, between the two to see if, this one might have oxidized a little bit since it only had yay much left in it. And to see what happens over a period of time, I've probably had this one. This one was bottled or barreled. This one was barreled on 12-27-07. So this one was barreled in 2007, December 27th, 2007. It's 10 year old, so it was at least bottled after December 27th, 2017. I don't think it, it doesn't say when it was bottled. Anyway, so this one was bottled December, probably more likely January of, January on of 2018. Yeah. And this one was barreled on August 9th, 2008. So this one was more than likely bottled the fall of 2018. This one was bottled winter 2018. This one was bottled fall 2018. So kind of want to see what happens. So cheers. Sniffer's working good. Very similar noses, obviously. This one has a little, a little mustier smell, muskiness maybe. This one has a sweeter smell to it. That could do. That could be due to oxidization. Of the whiskey so uh, I'm also gonna just so you guys know I'm gonna go ahead and retaste all of the whiskeys that we had from Saturday night over the next week or so except for the Elijah Craig barrel proof because <laughs> we drank it all so Has a funky note to it, a little funky peanutty note or like a nutty note on the end. That's two different whiskeys. Yeah. I mean, they're obviously the same juice, but flavor-wise, that adds something 
there's something different there. Now, it very well could be because it's oxidized a little bit from having so much oxygen in the bottle for so long. But, honestly, I don't... I mean, I got this one last week, and I might have had this one for, I won't say no more than eight, nine months. Yeah, it's, it's almost like some of the flavors are muted. I'm kind of wondering, I'd love to find, what I need to do is search out and find a bottle that was barreled in winter. Hopefully it was bottled in the winter as well, whereas this one would probably more than likely bottled in the fall to see if... Uh, anything changes. Yeah, two different flavor profiles. I'm kind of wondering, I really would like to know, to have a baseline and find out if it was, when it was bottled, like the, 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 the time of year in which it was bottled, or if it was due to oxidization. So obviously we all know if you leave too much air too much oxygen in the bottle it's going to change the liquid so if you're going to have something sit for a while if you have a special bottle and you get it below half I mean if it's going to sit there for a long time I wouldn't let it sit for more than two months before you bottle it down put it into a smaller container um, if you have a, a rare whiskey unless you're just going to finish it over the course of a few months I wouldn't leave it in the big uh, 750 milliliter, but yeah, this one, the one on the right tastes better. And just as we sit, this old one, I wouldn't give this. I'd give that like a 7.7, .7, honestly. Yeah, this is leaning more towards a low 8, maybe like 8.2. The difference is it's quite drastic. Um, just, it's like it's been muted. It's been changed a little bit, and it very well could be because it's been in the bottle so long there's been so much air flowing around there with it. So I'm going to go with the new bottle, buy it barreled on 8908, and I'll put... I put barrel numbers and uh, barreled on dates in there with it and uh, might have to what I need to do I'm gonna go back through my videos and everything that I've I've scored I'm gonna put the date that I scored it so maybe after a year or so if I still have those same bottles I want to go back to it again and retaste it just to see if my opinion has changed see if the whiskey has changed I think that'd be a good experiment so don't let your whiskeys sit in the bottle for too long <laughs> moral of the story I think that's all I got uh, 
But like always, check out the Beardy Idiots podcast. Links up here in the homepage on the header. Um, if you want to follow us on Snapchat, <laughs> I'm going to be running the Snapchat here pretty soon. I'll, uh, as soon as I figure it out, I might post a link to it. Or if you uh, follow me on Instagram, I'll post a link. I'll post the, uh, the little Snapchat emoji, whatever shit it's called. So I'm going to try to run rod that pretty good. Uh, probably not. It's going to be terrible. But anyway, I think that's all I got. Like always, folks, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. Have a nice day. Take care.